And you mentioned before that you know you have played you know fairly strong female you know strong and independent female characters. Is that something that for you as an actress you particularly like to gravitate towards if you read about it in a script and see that it's a you know particularly strong female character? Do you, does that sort of make you go oh I'm really interested in this role? I think it depends. I think I'm just very attracted to complex women, um, whether that you know, makes them strong, whatever that word can mean, it can mean so many things, Um, but I, you know, just hearing you mention it and just thinking, oh, okay, yeah, I have seen to play some, some women who um, sort of face their fears, you know, face their fears in the eye, dead on, whatever (laughs) the the right thing is, Um, but that's not something, I don't look for someone who's like, is she brave, is she courageous, it's, it's more like, you know, where is this uh, character coming from and, and what makes them complex and fascinating? Mm-hmm. And speaking of complex and fascinating, a couple of the characters that you've actually played have been in like lesbian or bisexual relationships. And I think for me personally, as someone who's, you know, a fan of watching, you know, various different genres of television, um, do you think that it's becoming a more normal thing to see on TV, that it's you know becoming far more acceptable? Because if you think that Lost Girls sort of started a good few years ago, and now we're progressing through and seeing a lot more of these characters coming on TV, do you think that that's something that's happening a lot more I, from your experience? I definitely think it's happening more. I think uh, our world is starting to open up their eyes a little bit. Not everything is black and white, and love has many colours, and I think my I can speak for myself and the entire cast of Lost Girl that that's one of the things we were most proud about the show is that it doesn't matter if you're gay straight bi if you're blue green white black it doesn't matter yeah. love is love and um and the fact that that was a theme and a message of the show uh it meant the world to us so just moving into different um themes of of that nature I'm always very proud to uh you know, to give people a voice and, and to play a character that people can relate to, whoever that might be. And so you've got a couple of film projects that you've got coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yes. Um, let's see, I have a, a film called Pet mm-hmm. um, that I did with the lovely Dominic Monaghan from um, Lord of the Rings and Lost. I was a big fan of his and it was uh, a wonderful experience to work with him. It's a very intense film. It's a psychological thriller slash uh, love story. Mm-hmm. I think um, it's it's a story that people won't expect for the kind of genre that it is. Um, and uh, that is set to release, um, I believe, by the end of this year. Um, and the other film that I'm very excited about is called In Search of Fellini. I got to work with, again, another actor that I'm a huge fan of, Maria Bello, and also uh, Mary Lynn Rice Cub. And uh, I was in wonderful company of, of extremely talented women. And, um, and yeah, and I can't give too many details away about that one yet, but I'm very, very excited about it. Sure. And did you, did you film In Search of Fellini, like, in Italy? Was we some did. of it shot in Italy? We did. We filmed uh, two weeks in Cleveland, Ohio, and then about seven, seven eight weeks um, all over Italy. Right. Wow. Yeah. So that, that would have been a great experience getting to It was it. wonderful. Uh, it was uh, tough. Um, just in the sense that we sort of landed in Italy and started Start working and it was, work, yeah. yeah, and it was long days and, uh, um, just, you know, grueling work days, but it was very rewarding and I've fallen in love with Italy, um, and I'm actually learning Italian right now, so hopefully, hopefully one day I can go back there and actually have like a full-on conversation with the locals <laughs> instead of being like, ciao! Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>